Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Get Fit With Jess and welcome to today's 10 minute Tabata hit workout, no equipment needed, unless you need a mat or a towel or a blanket for the floor, but that would be all that you need. Let's get right into this. Let's loosen up real quick. I'll kind of explain how this 10 minute workout's gonna go. We're gonna use Tabata timing today, which means 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and we're gonna do quickie rounds, which that means four rounds. Some of the moves we'll do two times on one side and then two times on the other, but we'll do a total of four rounds. Let's do some knee drives here. Reach and pull. We're gonna get that heart rate up. Get our sweat on today. I'm so excited that you're here with me. Let's do a little twist here, side to side. Make sure our back is loosened up. Good. Go ahead and Brace and engage your core. Go ahead and start thinking about that. I'll remind you of that throughout the entire workout because we will be using a lot of core strength today. Let's reach across here, side to side. Stretch out those sides. Good, one more on each side. Take a nice deep breath with me. Give me a little squat, inhale, come up. Exhale down two more times. Big reach at the top. Stretch it all out, one more. And exhale. Okay, let's get right into this. Our first move, we're gonna plant our right foot. We're either gonna step back with our left leg here for a reverse lunge, or you can try a curtsy lunge. If that feels okay, go with that. If not, give me a reverse lunge. But what we're gonna do is a knee drive up, okay? So reverse lunge or curtsy lunge, knee drive. If you want to, you could add a little hop to that, but that's optional. So if you wanna keep it low impact, don't do the hop, okay? 20 seconds, let's go. Get right into it. We'll do two rounds on this side. Like I said, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. When we're on that 10 second recovery, I need you to keep moving though, okay? Three, two, one. So what I mean is side touch it out, maybe march it out, maybe you wanna bounce it out or jog it out, whatever, just move. Same side again, ready? One more time, let's go. Good. Move at your own pace. It's all about you today. What matters is that we get that heart rate up. Work hard, give it our best while we're here. Three, two, one, good. Okay, we know our move. We just flip that over, do that to the other side, okay? All right, go ahead. Plant your left foot, right foot comes back. Let's go. Drive that right knee up with a hop or without. Good. You may notice like me, my balance is not as good on this side as it was the other side and that's okay. That is time. If you need to, feel free. Hold on to the wall, the back of your couch table, whatever you need to, to keep your balance. Ready? Last time of these, let's go. Now in between the groups, we'll do a 30 second recovery, okay? We'll catch our breath there and I'll show you what's coming next. Come on, stay with this though. Finish these five, four, three, two, one. Good. We're gonna be coming down to the floor. This is a straight round, so it's the same move for four rounds, okay? Catch your breath, take your time. We have 20 seconds. We could do this in a kneeling position, push up or elevated would be a great option. Two shoulder taps, okay? One push up, two shoulder taps. Elevated, kneeling or on your toes. Get ready, get set, let's go. So turn on the abs, turn on the core, down. Whatever push-up you like to do, and then tap, tap. Try not to rock too much when you're doing that side, or sorry, shoulder tap. Three, two, one. I didn't catch my breath on that 30 seconds. Okay, now I'm gonna use this time to breathe. Round two, let's go. So what I was saying is we don't wanna do this, okay? So try to keep your hips squared 
towards the floor. Maybe take your feet out a little bit wider. A nice wider stance if you need to. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, for the next two rounds, I'm going to show you another option if you want to take it up a notch. Okay? You'll come down, come up, almost like a plank jack shoulder tap. Ready? Go. That's 100% optional, but if you're feeling really good, go for it. Almost. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoo! Shake it out, shake it out. Okay, pick your poison for this last round of these. Just one more, okay? Get ready, get set, let's go. You got this. Whatever you're doing, rock it, finish it. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, so that one got me, what about you? Okay, we're coming up for group three. So we have four groups, so we're halfway here. Come on up, take your time, grab water. We're gonna do a squat with a crossover crunch, a standing cross crunch. So it looks like this, arms are up, sit your hips back into a squat. Opposite knee to elbow comes across the body, crunching here. If you want, you can add a jump squat to that. That's optional. We go in five seconds. So this is another one, four rounds, same move. Let's go, I'm with you. Squat, cross, crunch. Think about getting that elbow and knee to meet. They most likely will not meet, but it's okay. Just shoot for it, aim for it. That's what matters. Three, two, one. Good, move your feet. Now, if you're adding that jump squat, I'm gonna do that this round. Make sure you're landing soft, okay? Ready, let's go. So, you're coming into that squat before you cross. Land soft, up, and then cross. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, two down, two to go. You're doing great. Keep hustling. Round three, I'm with you. Here we go. Breathe, breathe, breathe. 10 more seconds. Nice work. Three, two, one. All right. Side touch. One more round. Give it your best. And then we'll finish down on the floor. Okay? Ready? Let's go. Me and you right now. Ten seconds. Come on. Power from the legs. Use those abs. Work those obliques. Three, two, one. Good. Okay, come on down. Options. We're gonna do two rounds on one side, two rounds on the other, okay? Two minutes and we're done. Half jack knife right here. Keep your lower back on the floor. Crunch up, reach up. Next option, jack knife V up. So you come up like a full sit up. Third option, jack knife get up so lift your hips ready set go so if you're using your right arm reaching for the left leg okay your right foot will come down left hand behind you to lift your hips and then you touch okay five four three two one good okay you can do the same option you just did Mix it up, change it up, but stay on the same side. Get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. 
Now, if you're doing this, get up with me. We're digging this heel into the floor. We're pushing into that back hand. So you're gonna feel this in the glutes, in the shoulder, in the triceps, and in those abs. Five, four, three, two, one. I also feel that in the quad and the leg I'm reaching for, right? Okay, we know our move, we know our options. Switch it up, other side, go. One minute left and we're done. Come on, keep working hard. I know that you are. Good, 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 good. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, this is it. 20 seconds between you and your workout complete. Three, two, one, go. Finish it, finish it. Breathe, keep your lungs open. There you go. You got it now, 10 seconds. Five seconds. Come on, give me one more. That's time. Great job. You can stay right here. Lay down, stretch it out. Do whatever you need to do. Cool down, stretch. Maybe you wanna come in, repeat this, do this again with me, or maybe you wanna move on to another stackable. Wherever you are, great job. I'm so proud of you. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and then be sure to check out in the description below my online basic training boot camp program. I have sessions running all the time. New sessions start every month. So if you love this workout, you will love that program. Not only will you get workouts like this, but you're gonna get nutrition support, um, food tips and guidance and so much more. So check that out below. Let me know if you have any questions and then I'll see you back here in the next workout. Bye.